Hello traders, Gary Wagner here, just after 10.30 in Honolulu, 4.30 in New York. It is Thursday, July 28th, 2016, and we are looking at a mixed bag in U.S. equities with the Dow Jones Industrial Average closing off about 15 points. I call that, in essence, unchanged at 18,000. Uh, 456 standard and pours however closed up two tenths of a percent 2164.75 and the nasdaq also a close higher on the day 0.38 almost four tenths of a percent in terms of the rise also very very noteworthy and interesting is crude oil which continues to plunge uh really dropping pretty hard today almost a two percent decline off 82 cents per barrel more importantly it is below 42 dollars 42 to 44 was my target area with 42 as a potential area of support we'll look at a chart so you see what i'm talking about but we did see that market dynamically break below that as we spoke about yesterday a break below 42 really puts into play 38 dollars per barrel as the next technical area we could see that market go to we'll look at a crude oil chart in just a minute first let's go to our first standard and poor's chart so traders as i said we did see the dow jones industrial average close lower on the day nasdaq and the s p 500 higher however that higher comes with a huge caveat and that caveat is yes markets up five points on the day 0.23 percent uh, over two tenths of a percent in terms of the gain you can see that because you've got a green candle here however take a look at these recent highs these highs on a technical basis are absolutely pointing and alluding to the fact that we've got some real headwinds in the market we have not been able to to break above this new uh, historical record new glass ceiling so to speak which is just above a uh, 2171 and that of course is basis the e mini contract you've got you got to add a couple of points if you're looking at the big s p 500 but nonetheless there's no doubt we can see some real headwinds when we take a look at this daily chart now yet another way to look at this as i said the daily chart straight candlestick format when we look at it the other thing that you really see more than anything is this alternating candle color because ever since this market has really run run up to the top you had a series of green candles higher closes obviously and then you go into an alternating candle color green red green red i think this is uh red but it's definitely a doji red doji and then green absolutely alternating candle color now if we take a look at the uh, japanese average chart same daily chart let me go ahead and pull that up you really see that any any strength to this upward trend that was so prevalent really at the end of june here beginning of july as this market broke two new highs and broke above the previous ceiling you can absolutely see you've got very very small body candles a and b uh you've got wicks on both sides of the real body of the candle that tells me that any kind of upside momentum on a technical basis has absolutely at least for the short term run out of steam so traders as i said the big news today as far as i'm concerned is this continuing drop that we are witnessing in crude oil crude oil down almost two percent on the day 41.10 this a being a daily candlestick chart we can definitely see this trend over the last week or so in trading this cascading channel line with that upward bias of course is a very very long line meaning it's going back 135 days so we can take into account really the rise from what uh, mid-february 26 up to these tops at about 52 and the definitive fact is we have broken through any kind of real bullish momentum and at this point as i said we have identified some key areas uh, particularly this one at 42 which is that 61 percent retracement and as i said yesterday a break below there really is pretty significant and it tells me that we could in fact see this market go as low as about 39 dollars a barrel 
And traders, it really becomes apparently clear what kind of week uh, the oil complex is having when you take a look at these weekly charts. Of course, here you see the dramatic rise, 26 to 52 on a weekly chart. Take a look at this uh, doji right here. Very, very interesting, interesting doji in that the size of this tail, meaning the exaggerated high for the week and the fact that it opened and closed at roughly the same point. That was the precursor to the sell-off. Now, on this particular uh, cascading channel line, the bias is actually obviously to the downside as it takes into account this big move down that we saw when oil was trading well above 60. If you remember that, we were up in the what? Near 100 at, at, at one point. But it takes into account there we've broken back into the bearish channel line and down. But take a look at this weekly uh, activity. Uh, substantial, and it is Thursday, so we do expect the week to finish off uh, severely to the downside. And then uh, traders, lastly, do want to take a look at the Japanese yen. Of course, Bank of Japan put out some preliminary ideas in the kind of stimulus package that they will announce. They actually made an early announcement yesterday, and it's quite fascinating the extent of the stimulus and the time frame for the stimulus is over a period of years. It's 300 plus billion dollars. Uh, converted uh, dollars converted from yen of course so it's it's quite an extensive package we'll have to see once that announcement is formalized if we see a dramatic decline in the strength of the Japanese yen this has been Gary Wagner wishing you as always good trading we'll talk to you tomorrow for another daily update review bye-bye